let's breathe some life into my 20 year old Crestliner with some new lead time lithium batteries. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Today's video, we are going to be getting some lead time lithium batteries installed. Uh, I have them up front here, the lighting's not great, but up there we have two batteries that we're gonna be installing in the boat today. One is a 24 volt, 100 amp hour that is gonna be powering my Minn Kota Trova, 24 volt trolling motor, 80 pound thrust. And then the other is actually a battery that I used last year, but for today's purposes, we're gonna reinstall it. The 12 volt, 100 amp hour is going to power everything in the boat so that my starting battery is just that, a starting battery, and it doesn't have anything else to worry about. Uh, so that's the plan. We're gonna take out the old lead acid batteries. I've got two 12 volt lead acid batteries right up in there and a Minn Kota charger. We'll be popping those suckers out, putting in the new, uh, I'm excited about it. That is a dual bank, 24 volt and 12 volt, one bank each, 10 amps, uh, lead time charger. So that's what we're gonna be putting in the boat today and I'm very excited about it. I did want to mention quick that if you do have any questions about the lead time batteries or chargers, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Also, in the description below, I will leave a link to the lead time website, uh, that's my affiliate link, or you can always use the coupon code ANGLINGANARCHY, all one word, all caps, and uh, any of that that you do helps the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. First order of business, I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you the layout of the boat and how we're gonna have to position everything. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got the starting battery in the back of the boat, and we pulled everything off of that except a charger which i'm also going to pull off of that because all we need are the two leads going to the motor and everything else that we're going to run off the 12 volt lithium battery is going to go right there see i've got a strap for the battery in place already that's a charger that pulls power from that battery and was shooting it up to the old 12 volt lead acid batteries we get to get rid of that and then we've got our big heavy lead acid batteries up here that we need to take out and the charger right there so that's all that's coming out so as soon as we get that stuff out we can start putting our brand new lithiums and the charger in so one thing to consider with the 24 volt or the 36 volt batteries is that well it's up there in the front they're quite a bit longer than a typical battery you know a typical battery tray is maybe 12 inches or so that battery up front is about 19 inches in length but what i can do since i don't need these anymore is cut cut the ends off and then butt them together and then we've got two straps to go around that battery it's super secure and we didn't have to buy a special battery base for that uh, for that long battery so uh, that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to snip the ends off and make these about 10 inches each inside. That way that battery will only have about a half inch of movement in there, but it'll give us enough space to slide it in there. All right, so here's where we are with the project. Uh, I talked about the battery trays. There they are, right there. Snipped them in half, we're just gonna butt them together. There's plenty of spots to get screws in there to uh, take care of everything as far as securing these trays down. And then we still have the straps there, so. I think that's going to work out perfectly. And then behind it, there's all the crap that we got rid of. We've got the two batteries. We've got the onboard charger. We've got the on the fly charger. So that is a lot of junk that's not in the boat anymore. All right. Well, as you can see down there, we've got our two piece battery tray all set up for our 24 volt battery, 100 amp hour lead time lithium. And yes, it does. It does fit in this space. If you turn that battery sideways and slip it in there, she goes in just fine. So let's uh, let's get her in there. All right, folks, we have made progress. We have our dual bank charger secured down there. And I had to make a little bit of an alteration to our battery tray that I was really proud of myself for. Um, this front edge right here, I had to shave that off because uh, turns out that battery is just a touch wider 
than what that tray was. And uh, I got ahead of myself and didn't measure it. So because we've got straps on this side, I wasn't too worried about getting rid of that. This side and the other side over there is what I really wanted to keep the battery from sliding this way because these straps keep it from sliding that way. Hopefully that, that all makes sense. But yeah, that's where the big battery's gonna live. We've got our charger here. We extended the charging cable. I added about four feet or so of cable. And then we've got our terminals there. So we are gonna run that back through here along the side of the boat so we can get to that battery back there. All right, let's do it. So we ran our cord from there underneath down through here. You can kind of see it along the edge down there. And boom, we've got the 12 volt battery all hooked up and ready to go. We've got the leads from our charger up front on there and we've got everything electronic that this boat has running off this battery. Up here, we've got our 24 volt battery nicely secured in there. We've got the charger battery. This thing's not going anywhere. Side to side, all good. Front and back, she is locked in. So we are ready to rock and roll, I think. All right, ladies and gents, I think we are about as far as we can go as far as what we're doing in the garage here. One thing I'd like to do before we take the boat on the water and see what the new trolling motor can do with that 24 volt, 100 amp hour lead time lithium battery on there is hook up the charger and we'll just use the phone to make sure the charger is putting what it should be into both batteries and just sort of confirm that everything's hooked up right. All right, ladies and gents, we have the charger plugged in. So we'll click on the lead time app here. Looks like this one's already hooked up. No, we don't want to disconnect. We want to look at it. And there we are. Charging 73%. We've got 9.6, 9.3 amps. So that's good. It's a 10 amp bank. So that is all good. And I love the fact that it tells us right there, estimated time to a full charge. Very cool. So we can back out of there. We can connect to the 24 volt battery. Let's see where that's at. All right, 51% charging. 9.8, 10.1 amps. Looks like we are good to go. We have the boat out for the first time this year, and we are going to put that 24 volt, 100 amp hour lead time battery to the test. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the trolling motor in the water, and we'll use the remote, and I'll try to get a head cam on here so we can, so you can see what's going on. But I think what I wanna do is have the Bluetooth up on the phone, and we'll put it at a couple different settings on the Minn Kota trolling motor you know, two, three, four, all the way up to 10, and just kind of see what kind of amps are being drawn and how much time you would have at each setting, just to get an idea of how long this battery might last. All right, folks, we've been out on the river here. I've been kind of monkeying around, so I've got her down to 96%, but I want to go through the speed settings on my 80 pound thrust 24 volt Minn Kota and just kind of see what we've got for current draw, power, all that sort of stuff. So right now I'm sitting at a one and it's not even registering. So let's bump up to two. There we're starting to draw a little bit and it's it's a little bit jumpy. So it's telling us we're, you know, 60 to 80 hours at that setting. Let's go to three. Okay. 30 hours of use at a three. I mean. Three is probably what I have the trolling motor set at most of the time when I'm fishing on a calm day. So nothing wrong with that. Let's get her up to four. All right, drawing five, six amps, 20 hours at a four. It's still pretty good. That is a more than a full day of fishing. That's for darn sure. Let's go up to five. Okay. And actually I'm on a river right now, so we're, I'm fighting a little bit of current, but we're starting to uh, keep up with it here. 10 to 12 hours at a five setting. Oop, come on phone. It's still pretty good. 
And I also have the trolling motor on autopilot, so it's sort of self-driving a little bit too, which could be drawing a little bit of current. Let's go up to six. Okay. I mean, having it at a six all day would be kind of crazy. And we are, you know, that would get us eight hours continuous on a six. And I don't ever see that happening for, you know, for my purposes anyway. All right, let's go to seven. Now we're starting to really make our way against this current. Drawing, you know, 20 amps, give or take. Yeah, man, at a seven setting, five hours of use. That is pretty, pretty awesome. I'm impressed with this so far. Get her up to eight. Now we're drawing. Four hours approximately. Let's go to nine. Ooh, now we're really drawing some current. <laughs> Two and a half hours into nine, and let's go all the way. Let's put her all the way to 10. A little over two hours at a 10 setting. And I don't ever see that be needed. So, uh, and giving us pretty good power. I'm going two miles an hour into about a mile and a half hour current. That is, that's crazy. That's, that is pretty awesome. I'm very impressed with this battery right now. <laughs> First time on the water and have not really put it through the ringer, but just running through the different power settings on my Minn Kota and seeing what it's gonna draw and how long it would last throughout the day. Uh, super impressed. Um, and the fact that I can get it all the way up to 10 with the lead acid batteries, this thing used to kick out after being on 10 for a couple seconds. So uh, I'm not quite sure what is going on there, but this thing will let me run this without tripping out that breaker at a, at a high speed. So that, that was really cool to see. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's what I've got for right now. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions about the batteries or my setup or any of that stuff, just leave me a comment down below there. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video.